Hello everyone. I uh, recently took a forensics course with SANS and it uh, definitely piqued my interest a little bit in wanting to check out macOS memory forensics because I've simply never really done that. Um, so jumping right into it, we have a Mac uh, right here and I'm going to do a uh, about this Mac. As you can see, I have um, kind of blurred out the serial information here, but otherwise you can tell that this is running macOS Sierra. So I'm opening a terminal and uh, I have already sudoed to root as you can see in this terminal. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of begin the process of acquiring the raw memory dump on this system as it stands right now. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to wget a specific utility from the Google Recall project which is uh, an open source project for uh, memory forensics and uh, so that is actually called OSX PMEM so as you can see I've downloaded that to the OPT directory and now I'm going to unzip that via the unzip command uh, and the resulting directory is going to be the OSX PMEM.app directory and I'm going to load the kernel extension in that directory and that is um, Mac PMEM.kext so that's going to result in a couple of new directories in the slash dev uh, directory and I'm going to use dd with my input file slash dev slash pmem and my output file is just going to be called macdump.raw uh, and so that's going to take a couple minutes to complete and when it does I will have that uh, file that should be around the size of the amount of memory that I have on the system which is 8 gigs uh, so I am now able to see that file if I do an ls and as you can see it's about 10 gigs um, so it's a raw memory acquisition uh, but by and large it's near the 8 gig mark uh, which is how much RAM we have in the system. Um, so what I can do now is actually uh, according to best practice I should unload my kernel extension that I used to get this uh, memory acquisition so I'm going to do that via the kext unload, unload command on the Mac PMEM kernel extension. So now I'm going to SCP that file over to my uh, analysis virtual machine, which is just the SANS SIFT workstation. So I've already completed the SCP command, um, and I imagine if you're doing memory forensics, that uh, should be a command that you're familiar with. In any case, uh, we now have the macdump.raw uh, memory acquisition and we can start to use volatility. Um, so what we're going to do is begin our vol.py command. Volatility is uh, built into sans sift so that makes it really convenient but we're going to do a dash dash info and pipe that to more and what that's going to do is list all of the profiles that we have available. So I've actually downloaded a couple of Mac profiles uh, to the directory found in the documentation um, what is not found in the documentation is that you have to do this dash dash info to actually get the um, the friendly name, so to speak, which is what we're going to use in the command once we start parsing um, the memory acquisition with this profile. So there might be a case when you don't actually have a profile available to you. In that case, you'd need to build your own, and I will post a link on how to do that in the description of the video. So right now I'm doing that info command again, and I'm grepping for Mac, which is going to result in all of the Mac um, commands I can use with volatility that will show me different things of note. So off the bat, I notice that the PS list uh, is going to list the running processes in memory, which is obviously going to be interesting to me when doing forensic analysis. So I'm going to do a vol.py-f, and then my acquisition file, and then the dash dash profile specifying the friendly name as mentioned and then Mac underscore PS list and this will take a couple minutes um, but the resulting is all of the processes that were actually running uh, when the memory acquisition was taken um, so obviously this can be pretty interesting uh, you can pivot on the PID uh, process ID which is to the right of the process name in this third column and you can do a bunch of different things with proc dump and mem dump and I'll leave it to you to uh, refer to the volatility documentation to see the different things you can do with an actual uh, process ID. Another thing I wanted to check out is bash history. Um, so I can just modify my command and do a mac underscore bash execute that command. Uh, I'm actually going to pipe this to tail just in case there's anything um, in my bash history that I'd like to keep private. So I'm going to just show the last eight lines or so via the tail command. 
Um, so this will take a moment to complete, and the resulting is the last eight lines of my bash history. So you can see me fumbling around with some uh, ping commands, uh, some removal of the OSXP mem uh, when I was testing, etc. So I wanted to end this video by going back to the list of different things you can do on the memory acquisition that you took. Um, I think it's absolutely valuable to uh, go through these different things and kind of see what the output is so you can get used to doing OSX memory forensics and uh, seeing all that uh, volatility has to offer out of the box. So I wanted to thank you for watching. I know that this was a quick video, but I wanted to keep it that way. And uh, again, if you have any questions or comments or find anything cool in a memory acquisition, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.